okay okay my name is Joyce Ligonzo um I work at the Busia Busia Kenyan side and I was deployed to work at the Busia border post in 2015 as a fish inspector apart from my work I am a mother I have a son one son and um, he's pretty young uh, so I have to juggle between motherhood and career and I can say that I'm I'm getting up with it well. Oh my day to day how my day looks I wake up very early in the morning to do my motherhood duties in the house. I have to prepare my baby, I clean him, prepare all his meals in the morning and leave him with the nanny so that by around eight o'clock I am at work. Um, my work basically entails fish inspection. I'm entrusted with the quality assurance at the border. So what we basically do at Busia Border is to inspect the fish that is coming into the country, going out of the country in terms of fish imports and exports. So for fish imports, I have to inspect the fish. I have some assistants who are clerical officers. They once have inspected the fish, they compute the levies and then I have to sign the certificate, the import certificate myself. So the same case applies to the export. I inspect the fish first, then my clerical assistants assist me with the computation of the levies, then I sign the export certificate. We also have fish that is on transit. For fish on transit, I just inspect the documents because most of the time it is sealed so I don't break the seal. What, so long as all the documents are in order, uh, we inspect and then I can, I give it, I stamp on the papers so that the guard at the, at the gate knows that it has been inspected and released to move on. Apart from inspection work, there's the human side of our work, which is uh, capacity building and sensitization. So we do sensitize traders, we, we train them. Um, we even had a, a radio show, an interactive radio show with the traders. So they ask us questions and we answer them on radio. We explain to them like what our work entails, what the requirements are. And then they ask us questions on the radio. It's a way of educating the public on the requirements of fish trade. Yes, so basically if anyone has an issue, a question, we have to resolve their, their, their conflicts together. We have to assist them to, to get whatever they want and basically improve on the trade across the, bo the border. Um, our fish imports mainly come from Uganda. They comprise of uh, the fresh tilapia. We also import sun-dried omena. In some places it's called daga. We also import the sun-dried fish, mostly tilapia from Uganda. And uh, then we export fish from Lake Turkana in Kenya, which is heavily salted and sun-dried. That's what we export it to DRC Congo. And um, that's what the Congolese market really requires. Yeah, so fish that is on transit mainly comes from uh, Rwanda and Uganda. And it crosses through Busia border on its way to the Jomo Kenyatta airport. And most of it goes to the port of Mombasa for onward transmission. Um, we collaborate with uh, other border inspectors. For example, my colleague in Busia, Uganda, we collaborate a lot, we work together, even the ins border inspector in Malaba, we do work together. I also have to collaborate with other fish inspectors within Kenya, because when there's a consignment coming from somewhere interior of Kenya, through the Busia border, they do alert me. So that is how we work with other uh, border inspectors. Okay, going back to the training, the regional training, yes. uh, how do you find it? What did you get from this uh, regional meeting? 
um, the regional meeting has been very uh, uh, informative. I've really benefited from, especially from experience sharing and the lectures given by the trainers. Um, they've been talking about the, how to do our inspection work at the borders, what we require in terms of tools and equipment as border inspectors, and um, how to collect samples for lab analysis, because currently we are not doing any analysis. Uh, we, we, we are not able to take samples to the laboratories, but from this training, we shall start sampling fish and taking it for uh, for analysis in the laboratories. Yes, so interacting also with other border fish inspectors has been very educative. Okay. The EAC manual is, is useful because now I have a point of reference. You know, when you just speak without any reference, it is not operative. But at least I have a, a point of reference and um, in case of training, when I get other new staff, it will be very easy to induct them onto the job. Yes. Um, in the beginning, it is a bit of a challenge because until they understand you, they most, especially most of the male colleagues, they try to intimidate the females. It has been so in my case, but I've stood my ground. And once you're, you're principled and you know your work very well, they come to respect you. I've earned my respect from my colleagues that way, just by being principled and knowing my job well, doing my job well. Because at the end of the day, we did the same interview to get the job. So I don't get intimidated just because I'm a female. Yes, but those challenges are there.